What about risks of the RFA procedure? Are there like a lot of the time people ask me, me, does RFA cause radiation exposure? Yeah, there's no radiation exposure with RFA. Mm -hmm. And I do think that is one area for patients when it's the, and you started the, the, the podcast off with that, which was radioactive iodine and RFA. They have similar sort of acronyms, similar sort of letters and, and naming for it. So no, there's no radiation involved whatsoever with radio frequency ablation. It is directed electricity, um, directed radio radio waves, directed heat. And so there is no, it doesn't cause other kinds of cancer. It doesn't, you know, damage other structures. You don't have to avoid other people. You don't have any of the things that you have at all um, with, with radioactive iodine. You know, most of the, the risks of RFA are obviously anytime you're breaking the skin, you have to be concerned about infection. Um, you know, it is done under sterile conditions. It's very uncommon um, in terms of infection following it. 